Hey, ultrasound peeps, let's talk about the appendix. All right, so here we got a clip. You can see the appendix being compressed against the psoas muscle. It's fluid filled. You want to measure at compression. Normal appendix measures less than six millimeters. Here's the same appendix in sagittal. The tip is to the left of the screen right there. Though the appendix here is in longitudinal, I am transverse on the abdomen. Let's talk location. McBurney's point is one third to halfway between the iliac wing and the umbilicus. And that's where most appendixes are going to be found. But you see the appendix on the right upper quadrant or deeper into the pelvis, even behind the bladder. In this example, you can see the appendix is neatly tucked away between the liver and the right kidney. Here's another example. There you got your normal appendix right between the liver and the kidney. You may have heard of fluid within the Morrison's pouch, but appendixes like to chill there as well. Well, not all right upper quadrant appendixes are normal. Here you can see one again, same spot with hyperemia, fat stranding. You see the inflamed appendix right next to the gallbladder right there. Another picture showing hyperemia and transverse with hyperemia. What about size? Is every greater than six millimeter appendix that's non-compressible a positive acute appendicitis? The, the answer is a clear emphatic no. The appendix can be filled with fecal material, making it large, even up to one centimeter, and hard to compress. That's why we have to look at other findings, like fat stranding, also known as fat edema, is a patient in pain. Sometimes you do an appendix and the patient is not really in any clinical pain that would suggest appendicitis. Hyperemia is also a good one, as is wall thickening. Wall thickening greater than two millimeters suggests edema. This appendix was normal at the base, measured three millimeters, and went all the way up to one centimeter at the tip. It was clearly filled with fecal material. It was non-compressible, but the patient was not in any pain. They were followed up several times, and it just stayed the same. Now, can this patient develop appendicitis in the future? Of course, but so can anyone else. We're sonographers, not fortune tellers. Here's another quote-unquote abnormal appendix, but it's not really abnormal. Yes, it measures seven millimeters. It's not compressible, but there's no hyperemia. There's no fast stranding. There's no free fluid. There's nothing really to suggest inflammation. Well, there you have it. Those are just a few of my thoughts on the appendix. I've done them before in the ER calls. Well, that appendix measures seven millimeters, so it has to be positive. But you have to clearly explain to them that measurement is not the only criteria for appendicitis. All right, take care. Thank you.